All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the user interface of RoboGuide. When you have the work cell open, you have the main interface. We have the menus, and inside the menus, you're able to save, open up certain cells, do different things with the cells, and open up different portions of the cells like the teach pendant. Then we have the toolbars. The toolbars is going to have easy access to manipulate the either your window or the movement of your robot. You have the cell browser and this is everything that has to do with that cell. So the robot, the different things that you bring in like for example in this picture you have the rectangle square and then the rotational of the rectangle as well. So you have different parts and you also have the frames in which you set up as well. You have the status bar and the status bar will give you information like jogging of the robot, are you at home position or what position you're at. It also sometimes tells you um, the X, Y, and Z coordinates of your object as well. Zooming into the toolbar, so there's a little icon. This little icon will give you direct access to the actual teach pendant. Now the teach pendant looks almost exactly identical to the actual teach pendant that you use on an actual physical robot. Then other useful tools, you have the actual working space of the robot. So you can see the red sphere around that robot. So that's everywhere that the robot can actually reach. Now, as you modify and manipulate the robot's parameters, this will change and you can limit the robot movement to certain areas of the screen. Other useful tools is the actual movement of the joints. So if you click this little icon right here, you're able to actually physically click and hold the click on each of these joints and move the joint to exact position, which is very different from real life because you can't do this in real life. So that's where the RoboGuide software really, really helps you get into position exactly how you want it. Other things that you can do as well is you can open and close the manipulator if there is one and then you also can move and check positions um, of the actual robot. Down below that you have your different browsing screens. So this one right here centers your entire drawing uh, so that it's centered on your screen. Then you have the top down view, you have the right side view, you have the left side view the front view and then the rear view of that robot so you can really get your robot into position by jumping and jogging between these different screens so just to show you on the actual screen so looking up here we have our teach pendant so if we click our teach pendant that will load the teach pendant on the screen and if we zoom out zoom in with the center roller key of your mouse you're able to move and then if you actually hold that center mouse key you can move left to right and then if you hold the right click you're able to rotate around so if you hold that right click you can rotate around to position now if that doesn't work you can easily go again top view front view or right side view left side view front view and you can manipulate from there and then you just can rotate it based on however you want. Now if you do have a three-dimensional mouse, uh, it does help out uh, with rotation as well. So you can also manipulate by going to initial movements. So if you look show and hide jog tool here. So this one will allow you, if you click and hold the click, you can rotate exactly to the position that you want. And that works for all positions. This is a joint movement, which we'll talk about the difference between joint movement, world movement, and tool movement later on. Now here, if we go down arrow, we can have our actual tool zone and then our current U tool. So right now we have no tool frames up, and we'll talk more about that later on. Um, and here's the zero here so this is again everywhere that that tool can reach to so if your work area is outside of this bubble that means your robot can actually cannot reach to that position in the next video we're going to dive into the teach pendant and then we'll start jogging the robot from position to position without manipulating the actual joints in RoboGuide